Okay, uh, today is June 20, uh, sorry, July 29, 2024, 5.37 p.m. This is a meeting of the Camp Quantity Commission. All in attendance, Frank Melisi, Melissa Scartesia, new member, uh, Justine uh, Ladroga, right? Is that how you pronounce your last name? Awesome. We got, uh, we got Dory, Chris, Margaret, and then uh, Jen's gonna be joining us um, as well soon. So, first order of business is reorganization. Um, do you want me to do that or would you do that? Uh, you, you know, typically, I, it's funny, I always thought that I, I always did it, but I think in, I think that's for the select board that I do it. I think that you can do it, but if, just to be safe, do you, if you want to. Yeah, you can go ahead and do, do it. Yep, go ahead. Okay. So, um, we're going to have reorganization. I'm going to accept a motion for chairman of the Camp Kiwani Commission. Does <laughs> Melissa want it? No. I will, I will, um... Justine, would you like it? The chair, the chair position. Chairman. Okay. I, I'm just trying to catch up. <laughs> okay. Oh, girl. So, so uh, if every meeting after July first, every commission in the town of Hanson has to reorganize. So you have a chair, a vice chair. We don't have a clerk in this. No. In Michelle, just chair, so just chair and vice chair. Chair sets the agendas, um, goes through um, stuff like that. Vice chair will do the same thing if the chair is not available. Um, mostly housekeeping stuff. Yeah. So. That's all it is. Um, so, yeah, and so then I, run the meetings and everything like that as well as what the chair does. So Correct. Okay. So. I'd like to recommend Frank. For the okay, chair. motion from... Motion to recommend Frank. Is there a second? Well, first of all, is there any other nominations for chair? Okay, okay. hearing none, is there a second for Frank? I can, can I think chair? I can second that, right? I can second because I'm on the chair, so I'll second it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Oh, all in favor? Okay. Frank Felici is chair. Okay, great. And now I'll entertain a motion for our vice chair. Melissa? I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll nominate <laughs> Melissa Scartese okay. for vice chair. Okay. Any other nominations for vice chair? Hmm. Hearing none, is there a second for vice chair for Melissa? Second? Yes, All in favor? Excellent. Nice. Okay. Unanimous. No, wow. Some things never change. Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> now that that, that painful, thank you. Now that, that painful moment's over, we'll go ahead and continue on. So uh, we're going to table the approval of minutes from the June 24th, 2024. Um, we're going to approve uh, table the um, approval of minutes from July 8th, 2024. Um, and then we're going to discussion on the date to close Cranberry Cove. Um, Margaret? So I go back to way before January, uh, January funds. Say so we have you for a long time. <laughs> 26th. Um, kids go back, most of them go back the 28th. Okay. So it is Labor Day is super early this year. Um, and unexpectedly, quite a few of my older kids, my seniors and my college kids, have decided to leave us even earlier okay. than expected. Um, much earlier than expected. One of them is going to be gone August 2nd. Another one is going to be gone August 15th. Okay. So it's not going to leave us with a bunch, you know, even with Ella, I could, I physically won't be here to cover some of them. So, um, I think the 28th, no, yeah. So no, the last day of was... school for Hanson is the 28th, that's a Wednesday. So you must start the 26th? Uh, yeah, so the kids start the 28th, I believe. Correct. August. I personally start the 26th. 26th. So, again, do we just do some sort of a clean, we end on that? Um, the 25th um, as a Sunday because then everybody's sort of getting ready and then the kids have three days of school and then Labor Day. I have not put it out to my remaining like three and a half staff if they would want to work Labor Day, but I feel like oh that weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, we like usually we close it the weekend before, right? It's yeah. usually the weekend before. What yeah. what year did we what day did we set the close date to this year? I thought it was the 25th. So the 25th. Yeah. I, I the 25th of that August? Before, yeah. I just want to be clear. Is that, is that true yeah. that we said it's on the 25th of August? That seems super early. To because, Labor Day because Labor Day is so early. early. Yeah. Uh, okay, because we so, usually close yeah. it on Labor Day, right? So last year we closed on Labor Day. Um, we And it was packed. The whole weekend was, we had one day was icky, one day was okay, and then Labor Day was packed. But then there was nobody to clean up afterwards because everybody was right. back in school yep. and, you know, all that kind of stuff still needed to get done because um, the rules have, you know, changed. Some of those, the college kids are going back earlier and earlier. 
So if the 25th would be good, and that just makes it clear. Can you staff it till the 25th? I guess is my I, um, question. So that that last week, um, when I from the 18th on, we would have to probably do 12 to 5. Um, because I would have Ella two days, Jack, Lauren, um, and James possibly. Um, it's James. So I would have four guards only. And so I would just have pretty much two on and 12. To okay. Five. Right. Um, okay. So the 25th is a Sunday, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. And then the weekend after that is Labor Day weekend? Correct. Yes. Okay. Um, and we previously voted on closing the 25th, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So I just want to um, make sure we start, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's always been the weekend before school starts because it's well, yeah, in recent. I think one. I think one year because yeah. it was like a heat wave. Heat wave I think we o yeah. we left it open. Yeah. yeah, but okay. I don't know. Okay, so do you have any questions, Justine? No. no? What do you um? What, so what are you looking for us to do? You're looking for us I to. Just, a, I, I never. I wasn't one hundred percent sure. So it's the twenty fifth. I can just. Start letting people know what's happening, <laughs> and then when we do that final schedule, I'll share it with you because I won't be here. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll do the payroll in ahead of time, give it to you. Mm -hmm. And that'll be whoever. And then the week of the 18th, you're going to do 12 to 5. Yes. Okay. Because we just won't have. The That's staff. fine. I just want to confirm yeah. it. Okay. Right. Yep. We just won't have the staff to run it. And we will have four guards. And again, I can monitor from Maine what the weather is. No, it's weather. fine. I just want to make sure that that's yeah. when I post it, it's out there for the world. So yeah. I just mm -hmm. want to make sure that that's what it is. Limited okay. Numbers. Yeah. It okay. Is what it is. All right. Um, okay. So the 25th is closed. What about the, um, is that rolling into the discussion of hours of Cranberry Cove too? Is that what you want to discuss for the hours? On the oh, next right. agenda yeah, item? Yeah, we just talk about that. Yeah, is that, that, is that what it was? Week, okay. Last okay. Week, uh, last week okay. Is, just because we won't have the staff. Plenty of eight people that don't have enough guards to okay. legally run it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I still need that that email from you for that incident with James. Oh, yeah. I was waiting for um, Chief Barron's to get me a report back. Um, they okay. did stop by last week to talk to me a little bit. Okay. But I'll, I'll, I'll do the short version and then I'll yeah. ask him. Yeah, if you can if you can include that in the email just so we have it as documentation, yeah. that'd be great. Um, I don't know if was were you filled in on that? I don't not details, okay. but I know it. Yeah, I was. Do you want to give us the lowdown on what happened? Just because I think this yeah. is the first meeting since it happened. Just the lowdown. You know, you yeah, so mentioned. Yeah, we had a family um, that had come in and they had blown up their own boat. They gone out on the boat ramp, technically outside of our boundaries. Fire and police say it's not our concern. Family went out and went out there for an hour. Um, they went out with life vests on, but three girls came back. One did not have her life vest and on, and she became um, distressed um, right outside our boundaries. And so I was trying to get her to go off, you know, to the side. One of my life vests had to go in and actually rescue her. Um, and then we evaluated her, and she was in full blown like panic mode. Uh, she popped her knee apparently. Um, and she had a history of knee problems, and the mom was like, she should have had her vest on. She went out of it, and she should, you know, so mom was not happy that she didn't have her vest on, and then she, you know, she got hurt. Um, ambulance came, they took over, um, but, and she was screaming wildly. I mean, it was not a pretty scene. So, but this family then came the next week, too, and, um, no, to the middle of the little day to come in, like, monitor them again yep um so we had all but we did the follow-up and fire chief and then the one the guy came down i could forget what his name is he came down and he goes you guys follow the protocol you did everything you were supposed to do we went above and beyond and like you know we always try to prevent anything we possibly can but we can like convince people to do the right things sometimes so yep. um so that's the uh, hopefully our our one incident but it's just like, and, and the beach was locked. Yeah, it was on one of those really, really hot days too. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like two, two weeks ago, I think it was. It was like, 
I was up in New Hampshire and it was 98 yeah. degrees up yeah. in New Hampshire, yeah. so it was super, it was super, well, super hot, yeah. We had to keep doing the adult swims just to make sure that we didn't have over, like, it's one point, you know, we had 75 or so times so magic, remember, in the water. And James is the one who jumped in. James out, right? Yeah, James. James has been turning into quite the quite the uh, you know the 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 star down there yeah. as a lifeguard. So, so. He ended up doing the heavy lifting and um, and then again follow the protocol did exactly what he was supposed to do. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the only other problem is that um, and this is something for you guys for the future. I don't know if this is on that. Is that the fire trucks and everything were back? They, they had trouble getting in. Because people were parked on the sides instead yeah. of coming up and using the extra space above. A lot of Sunday people are not regulars. We have a ton of people who are out of town, so they did suggest to make little signs. Yeah, say no parking. No parking here, and then, you know, a little arrow to go up because they did, they said they, they had a hard time getting in because it was so. Yeah. I wonder if we can, is it possible to make like some no parking signs and have it say like, you know, I just, I don't, it doesn't matter to me if they're like regular metal signs, but having them there say, don't park here, park up by the lodge. Yeah. Like if you're really doing it, just because that's gonna, that's gonna really bite us in the ass one day when it right. comes, like if some, if there was like a real emergency that and happened, and health, like, yeah. The Board of Health had already mentioned that to me. Or maybe like additional parking with like yes. arrows. Yeah, but it has to have a no parking. No, no parking. They, yeah, they just additional cannot. parking. Just oh, yeah. Yeah. That whole road from the gatekeeper's yeah. cottage all the way down to the road, no yes. parking. Yeah. I mean, three weekends in a row. That's the tightest yeah. part of the road, I feel it's like. It's very tight. Yeah. And, like, you know, and then, then all the people who had the boat, um, what do you, the... The boat the ramp? They inflated the boat? They had their um, things that carried the boats on. Oh. They were like, you know, they're not parking in the right spot. They're just yeah. kind of blocking the road. They were tight in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, um, but, yeah, it's good. For, it, 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 Thank James for doing that because that was um. He did. I, I mean, I said yeah. exactly what he was supposed to do. Follow the you know protocol and yep. again, like technically, you know, not our problem, but we're not going to leave somebody out there. Yeah, really yeah, you can't sense. leave them out there because then then it will become yeah. our problem real fast. Yeah. So, um, okay, cool. <sighs> Any questions about that? Questions or comments? No. No. Okay. Um, so no parking signs. For that um, and then uh, th this is the second year James has been here right this is his second year back okay good um, okay let's go fiscal year review for um, a review of fiscal year 24 and 25 budget uh, Dory you want to take it away yes thank you Mr. Chairman I apologize I couldn't put the FY25 budget because the computer died today um, so you have the 24 but I mean that kind of gives you a better picture anyway mm -hmm. um, just it shows you what we have spent what we've encumbered um, so what it shows you is we're bringing um, 51000 over, which, which is good. Mm -hmm. And that will um, show itself in our retained earnings. Um, so that is, it's good. We did good in, in 24. Well, I mean, we had healthy, very healthy revenue, um, which I'll get to a little bit later on. So, I mean, that was great. So 51000 coming over is great. Okay. So... Um. Justine, have you ever seen a budget sheet like this before? Like a municipal one? Uh, what's that? Roughly. Okay. Do you want me to, do you need me to explain to you? You're good. Uh, yeah, but, you know. Okay. So, and if you look at it right here, this is the fiscal year 24 budget, which runs through July 1st, 2023 to June 30th, 2024. That's one fiscal year of 24. The top three lines here are employee wages so you have camp staff there for uh, original balance of 76,700 you have clerical support for 55,000 that's Dory and Renee um, then you have the Cove staff wages what you see is under amended for $50,000 that's because after the fact when we set the budget last year we added the Cove staff at a special town meeting in October so when the budget is originally set for fiscal year 24 you'll see it in the original budget line item right here and anything added after the fact that a town meeting or a special town meeting will be under the amended budget. Okay. okay? And then under here you have expended, which is the total amount of budget that we spent yeah. um, as of the date of the report. And then the unencumbered balance is how much we have left in that particular category. So as you can see, like Dory's clerical support item is negative 4,600, but we have um, an unencumbered balance of 12,247 of the camp staff. So 
it, these are grouped into one item essentially. So as long as we don't go over the 166,000 here, then we have no issue with this budget item. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. And then right here we have, um, under here we have operating expenses. So this would be our electricity, natural gas, so on and so forth. Um, and then we have, uh, you know, insurance and so on. Um, this is this is all from our enterprise fund. This isn't tax base. So like your and mine and Melissa's taxes don't go into this budget. This is all budget that we make from the um, the weddings that come in and the events and the cold passes and so on and so forth. So if you go to the second page, you'll see the grand total. So you have a grand total here of uh, it's actually was it three hundred and fourteen thousand dollars with an amended amount of fifty thousand two hundred and thirty four which gives us um, 364,000 and change. So under unencumbered balance, we have $51,749.01. So that's the money that we didn't spend in our budget last year, that's still in our account, that we're now gonna move to our fiscal year 25 budget, and essentially like have a rolling budget. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So we'll just to add to that too, so we, we control the budget, we don't have to, Yes. you know, if we want to spend something for the camp, we control that, we make the decision, we don't have to bring it to town meeting necessarily. Yeah, um, we have to bring it to town meeting to make the budget, to right. approve the budget from our, from move the budget from our retained earnings, earnings account into our operating budget. Um, but we don't need to go to town meeting if we want to buy a piece of equipment like you would for like the fire department. The fire department has to go to town meeting for any capital expense they have and ask for that money out of free cash. We don't have to do that because this is our account. It's actually the same as like a water account. Um, it's called a, called an enterprise fund. Okay. Um, Dory, anything yeah, else for Perfect explanation. Municipal finance 101. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, so uh, we're rolling over the fifty-one thousand that we have from last year is awesome. So that that's that's really, that's really that's really crazy. And I said that you know I said it last year too, or I've said it last meeting. I'll say it every meeting until fiscal year twenty-six comes into play. Um, we're gonna have to start rolling back this budget mm -hmm. a little bit, really start saving money, um, just because our bookings are are falling off for next year. Um, and we don't have nearly as many bookings as we should. So we're gonna have to start making these items a little bit less. And kind of holding back on them a little bit. We're gonna, yeah. We can only we can only set our budget on based on revenues that we're getting in. Correct. Yeah, I, I can get to that. Right yeah, and we're pretty good into the goal of having one budget cycle's worth of money in our retained earnings too. I mean, we're we're almost halfway there, I think, right? Yeah, uh, two weeks before town meeting, we'll have uh, the town accountant said we have a good number of what our retained earnings number is, um, but we can. Uh, you know, revenues. I mean, we had a grand year last year. We had three hundred fifty-three thousand in revenue, which was fantastic. Yeah. This year we have two twenty-seven, so we're down one hundred twenty-five thousand. So that is where we have to dial back. Yep. Uh, so the the question becomes: Do you want to do you take it from your retained earnings, which you don't really want to do? You want to just dial back and uh, or increase revenues. You know, to maintain the budget, but we will never set a budget higher than the revenues, anticipated revenues coming in. Or, you know, we're not allowed to. So we'll be dialing back on our budget based on the revenues coming in. Yep. Absolutely, which we should do anyway. So we can run on two hundred twenty thousand dollars. We've done a lot of improvements over the past couple of years. It costs us a lot of money. Yep. So, um, okay. Any other questions about the? Um, um, any other questions about the fiscal year budget? No, you don't need a motion or anything like that, no. right? Okay. Um, request to place a memorial bench at Cranberry Cove. You want to take this away, Dory? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So I received an email you have it in your packet, and uh, unfortunately, um, this a woman, Mrs. Pransky, her son passed away, and his entire life, Camp Kauai was a big part of it. Uh, he was on the swim team, and they just loved the place. And he he wanted to have his ashes spread there, but you know, she she couldn't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she just wants to do a bench if mm -hmm. uh, if possible. She'd do all the expenses, do everything. Mm -hmm. She just wants approval for a bench in his name at the cove. Okay. Was it like something that was like a city thing that she couldn't do, or she just didn't? She didn't. Personal. Oh, okay. She couldn't, okay. Uh, okay. She couldn't lose the ashes. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay, so she wants to do a memorial bench at the Cove. Uh, yes, and I yes, and I would think the select board would probably you know based upon the select board also approving that. I would I would think because it's a donation. Does she have a specific spot in mind? 
She did. She didn't say that she did. Um, I suppose we can work all that out. Yeah. Um, like if you're what, looking over the wall, like just you want to face the water. I'm assuming. Like I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We could put it. You know. We could walk it with her. Sense. If she wants to walk with us, yeah. we can walk it with her. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or come on, Jack's bench. Have Jack, have Jack's face on the launch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That would be sweet. I mean. Yeah. Right. I would. I would think. Yeah. A motion, if if you so choose, so then I would say, with um, select board approval as well, just because it's not property. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that guy, because <laughs> I, I, I I I've thought of this, and I know we've talked about this before too. Um, but we need to we need to really set a precedence about how we want to handle this request, right? And, and it's it's just because I don't. There's a lot of people who you know back in the day, memorial benches and stuff like that, and memorial trees used to be really you know hot and popular when somebody passed away, which is great, great way to remember somebody. But I don't want to turn the camp into a memorial site. Mm-hmm. Right, so we got to be very careful about how we're going to do this, mm-hmm. and if we're going to do it, it has to be um, semi-discreet, right? And it has to be something that's like that, you know. That that's what I think. I don't think it just it just can't be like a twelve by twelve plaque of you know, like. I, you, yeah, it needs to fit in there. If you yeah. do, if you do it for one person, yeah. there's no reason you can't do it for everybody else who wants it here, right? Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, we're going to have four hundred and fifty memorial benches here, and it's going to be like a graveyard right so um so i said it there we go so um that's you know trustees try a fortune if you want to bench on one of their properties like a fortune uh, how much i don't know a lot during probably like 50 thousand bucks for a bench i mean that's why they're a billion dollar corporation yeah um, but you know what if we what if we ask like Lou bench, which we don't really need, how about, um, you know, donating, we could do a little plaque, you know, this bathroom, or, you know. Uh, or just a picnic table you know, or something yeah, else, because yeah. the bench is sort of like, you know, like down the beach, it's, you know, a bench, because then somebody has to maintain the bench, and take care of the bench. Yeah, something, something more yeah, useful than a bench. Yeah, something that would... Something, put, if you wanted to donate towards... A building, we could do a little plaque on a building, but make it something that we need. We don't need, you know, we don't need another stone bench. Yeah, we could do that. Or, you know, if we wanted to make one place, because obviously the camp is very special to a lot of people in, Han- in Hanson and outside of Hanson too. If you want to make one place where, if you want, if you, you know, you had a particular loved one that really enjoyed the camp and you want their name etched somewhere, like you can have, a, we can have a piece of granite or something like that etched somewhere and say. You want your loved one's name there? We can do it. You know, pay us this amount, and then we can mm. put their name on there. X amount towards the camp. Put X amount towards the camp, and then, and then you can put you can put your name there. Yeah. Kind yeah. of like those, you know, the bricks they the do. Bricks, yeah. Kind of like the bricks, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, I'm thinking more of like, uh, you know, how they have like the. If if we found a place to do like a granite slab, essentially, and just be like, the bricks might be an easy thing. It's a tried and true in that. Um, mm-hmm. the, Stones going up to the. We talked about that yeah, like some years ago, yeah. like doing a fundraising so, thing and yeah, doing we did bricks. A, we did a, a brick walk yeah. up to that. You could probably sell enough bricks to yeah. pay for it and yeah. get rid of those awful stones. Plus, I remember people being upset about when they will pick up their bricks from the old school. Oh, the quad. Yeah. yeah. What did they do? Did you hear about that? What happened? They're, they're sitting on the side because they're, so they're still there. Dogs. Some of them are. I think some people came and dug up theirs, but there's, there's like a bunch that are. They're just sitting there. Can I go walk my dog in that area sometime? Why don't we bring them up here? No. They're not that many, but... No. So the corn school... No, you don't want that. I understand. No, I, listen, I get it. Um, my my grandfather has a brick at the old Shea Naval um, you, over there, and I love it there, but th- that is a... It is a memorial. Like, it's yeah. not like... It's not a... It's not a... You know, <laughs> it's not a campground, and you have, like, all these bricks over here it's, it's it's an actual memorial so it just depends in my opinion of how we want to portray it when somebody's having a wedding out here in the front and they're going off the, the walkway over there do you really want to I, I mean uh, the other thing too is, is they're not always to, to memorial or something 
sometimes that they do, you know, they do yeah. bricks or whatever that get people that's still alive that just want to donate. Mm -hmm. It's not always because someone passed away. I was just down. Yeah, there. no, I, I get I mean? that. But every time I see one of those bricks, I think that person's dead. No. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll be honest with you like that. That's uh, every time I see one, I'm like, oh, that person must, yeah. must be very nice. It's like the family. Oh, you know? hang on. My husband's family has one out of the harbor there in this whole section. Yeah. And, but it was, it was just the family. Yeah. Don't get it. It's not a moral thing. It's right. the hippie family. Right. You know, whatever. But, but I mean, I think if, the, if a bench there, first of all, now it needs to be maintained. Depends on what material is and all that kind of stuff. So that I think that is something that you have to consider. So like, is there like a picnic table that can be instead of a bench, which is functional yeah. down there, right? That you for this woman. Also, on top of that, we have that little platform over there next to the next to the little. I don't, I don't know what that's called. Oh yeah. Um, overlook thing. The overlook, right? Couldn't we put something there? I was like, oh, this is, you know, this is a, make it, make, we can do, it can even be like a nice wooden plaque and say, you know, the, put a plaque like on the railing. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm saying on the railing. So you can put a plaque on the railing and say, these are some people who, you know, found Camp Kwani very special. Thank you for your kind donation and whatever it was. And then have, you know, the names of there of, of, you know, this gentleman and so on like that. And have it as like a, you know, you're overlooking the camp, you're overlooking the water kind of hits everything and it's not too intrusive or forward for what it is you know and it's something that people can you know yeah it's not a good um so it needs more food for thought i think <laughs> yeah i just don't want to i just don't want to leave this this lady high and dry um about what what we're coming up with i guess I, got, I don't know if you want if you want to ask her about that and, and say hey you know yeah. we're, we're thinking about doing something like this instead yeah um, you know sure. would that work yeah um, I, I don't think a bench is gonna I, I don't think a bench is gonna do it I think the bricks are gonna be like I don't know I it's just my opinion though I'm only one person so like if, if people disagree with me then like you can make a motion and <laughs> so you can make a motion to, to prove me wrong but, but if it's gonna be down the cove Right? Yeah. That's like, it's, you know, a bench isn't necessarily, you know, and it's precious little tiny space down there. Yeah, I mean, a bench would be useful down there, I'm sure, at one point, but but it's just the, it's just the fact that, you know, I... It's the precedent. It's the precedent. You're setting a precedent now. So now, you know... You know, Chris likes to ride his mountain bike around here. And, you know, in 150 years when Chris is no longer with us, I want to put a bench over at the Overlook over there. But then I have to at that point, right? Like, I can't say no. So, and, and you know, it's, it's you, ha you have to at that point. Once you say yes to one person, it's a town property. You have to say yes to everybody. Um, so I, I, I don't think a bench would work for me. I, I don't personally think a bench would be a, a good idea. Um, but, um, I like I said... Right. It start it's run through, you can add bricks easily, like any kind of plaque, you can't add to it. It's mm -hmm. one and done. Uh, with the bricks, you, get, you know, people want to donate, buy a brick to, mm -hmm. to the camp one. You know, I think that would, it, it would cover the need. You can't pick and choose a cranberry coat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where would you do the bricks? Would you just do the bricks out front? Maybe just like a line to the fire pit, you know, just, just easy to walk on. You know, good you just do it, even a spring shot. I was thinking about kind of doing that anyway, because it's horrible to walk. Okay. Like you could probably, you know, what her donation say gets gets the ball rolling. You know, maybe we pay for the half, she pays for half, and then the next person that wants bricks will start to pay off the brick walkway. <laughs> Who's gonna engrave those? It, the services that do it away sand yeah. it's easy, sandblast them. Uh, you could they're actually services you buy from or you could go to a local sign shop and have a sandblast mask and psh, Okay. Um I so just think this specific, this specific case, she's talking about the cove. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can yeah. offer her this. Yeah, yeah. I just can't be choosing. Yeah. Right? If we say, yeah. this is our option. And she's very specific Memorial Bench at the beach. Well, that's what it's called. Yeah. 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 We don't have to. Yeah. We said no. But we can yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can, you, can you reach out to her and say, hey, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think a bench at the cove is going to be a gonna work but I think you know we're looking at these options instead and mm -hmm. we'll let you know when the 
you know, when we decide something. I think we should probably put this on the agenda for a more robust discussion mm -hmm. um, next meeting. Um, so it would be like maybe do a um, picnic table, maybe do a plaque on a picnic table or put a plaque up here on the overlook. Are these the options? Yeah, like a plaque on a picnic table is not going to be everlasting. That's yeah. going to be trash. I was thinking the overlook over here, yeah. right? And then you have, like, they even have, you know, those bronze, like, essentially the same thing that you would put on a bench. But you don't have to make it bronze. It can be green or whatever it is. You can have it etched and then yeah. nailed into essentially the the overlook, mm -hmm. you know, wooden thing. Or Chris's idea comes out too. You could do the you could do the bricks. I know we we discussed the bricks a couple of years ago, right? Well, because we were really looking for fundraising and money. Yeah. 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 It, but that would be like that would. I'm thinking like that's a whole that's a whole can of worm. Like that's a whole program. Like. A, you got to advertise that pricing levels, all that. Yeah. You got to throw it on the website. You want brick? You yeah, want brick? just the. Way. <laughs> yeah, I know. So oh, I. Thousand bucks for a brick. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. Why not? I mean, you could. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, the, the whole idea is to donate money to the place you love, not necessarily yeah. like a, a brick. Yeah. Jen. I I like his idea of the bricks because like during events. People from like either Hanson or like lived in Hanson and they've moved away and they come here for an event. <clears throat> so one of the first things they say is, oh my God, I grew up at Camp Kwani. I grew up swimming. I learned to swim in this pond. So I think make, make an, a thing for the bricks so that you know, people could just put their name like as a memory. I think it would be good for fun. I think a thousand. I think a thousand might be a little steep. I don't know yeah, if anybody yeah, would yeah. buy anything. Well, look, it's, 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 yeah. look, look at look at fundraising. Yeah. That's not. I'm thinking more. That was being light. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, well, the other thing okay. too is. I mean, if you, you, you want to make it, if you want to make it back, you do five grand. Yeah. I thought you were saying two grand. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, no, you. I, I work with the trustees. The people who give millions. It's, it was crazy. It's yeah. Crazy the money. When, when you when you you know you pull out the high strings, <laughs> you get the first round. Yeah. Get that. That's that's a good point. I mean, the other thing too is, would the town even let us do that? Raise money, probably not. But it's a donation. They, they let us you, set you, up you donations. Yeah. yeah, but then we have to get free. Don't we have to get 503 or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, so we are. People could just donate. <laughs> yeah, they donate right now. Yeah. People can donate to us. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people donate all kinds of stuff to us. People donate, they donate to conservation. Yeah, they yeah. donate just to give fund. Okay. Okay. Yeah, to give fund. It just has to be approved for the town. So yeah. we have to approve it, and the select board has to approve it. Yeah. Um, but it gives people an avenue to donate. Yeah. You know, I have, a, I have a funny feeling that Sheila and Caroline are probably going to have some strong opinions about this. Sheila in particular, when we talk to her. So, um, let, let's, let's, this, this is a good discussion. Let's table this until next meeting, though, because I, I feel like she's going to, she's probably going to have something to say about it. Mm -hmm. um, she broke into her. I don't know. <laughs> she's, well, you never know. She, she always, she always, uh, yeah, you never know. Um, that's a big decision though, so I wouldn't want, you know, just three of us here to do it either. You know, it's, it's one of those things that it doesn't have to be done right now. It's not pressing. Um, but I, I can, Mr. Chairman, if I may, I can, um, call her and just say that a full, um, board would be, you know, before you make a decision, we, we didn't have a full board tonight yeah. and I can feel her out on the, the brick idea. She might even have a suggestion of another, yeah. another option. Right. To, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I just don't want to set a precedence of doing I, that because then everybody and their mother's going to have a, a bench here. Yeah. They're going to have so many benches, so little time. <laughs> I want to trust the world, world's end is covered in benches. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's benches everywhere. <laughs> lots, yeah. Of, lots of places to sit. Yeah. <laughs> How much was a bench there? I don't, I don't know the exact price, but it, it, nothing was cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Really black tie, you know, that's crap to get into the study. Yeah. So just in case I didn't want to get myself in even more hot water, we can go have a discussion on baptisms. So, <laughs> go ahead, Dory. You can take this one away. So this has come up. I mean, we have um, the Cav Cavalry Baptist Church, and they are booking here, and they, everything's great, and they're doing a baptism, and it's all well and good. But Margaret has experienced that there's been like three or four people, families, they just show up. They have not contacted me or Renee. And they show up on the beach, and they're like, yeah, we're just going to do a baptism. And my like, what? And so they're like... Just straight up baptism? Just a straight oh, up yeah. baptism. No, no, so this so is we, Yeah, I mean, uh, 
again, I'm used to the Calvary Baptist coming That's, down. They, yes. they, they rent here, they do yeah. a lot of right. training, they do their they do and their they service pay. up here, they pay. They pay. Um, we had a full, like a full blown group that was part of this other group, but we, like early July, we had one group in there, and one of my kids staff goes, um, there's a group in to do baptism. And I said, well, where are they? And they're like, well, they, they're on the, in the waters. And I just assumed, because I didn't get they a list, did that it was Calvary, because I always know that they did it. And then literally the next week was this other group. I happened to be there. They all went down to the boat ramp, though. Yep. But still, but then the crew came in. You know, and there was a lot did of- they Did they pay, pay when they came in? Um, so, yes and no. Um, so they paid, but then they were sort of like sharing tickets or whatever. So if I wasn't be, you know, like, so it was a group of 12 to 15 the first time. And, um, my nephew happened to be um, there at the time. He was, um, other people part of that group are sneaking onto the beach mm -hmm. behind when nobody's looking, you know, so they were like, they were doing that. And that was a, yeah, um, and then we had another one. I had people drive up. Again, it was like three weekends in a row. And these two women pull up to the parking lot and say, hi, can you help us? Um, we're here for the baptism. And I said, so which church was it? And it was a handsome one, but it was the one on Main Street um, by Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, the Baptist one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one, yeah, 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 okay. Calvary, that, right? Calvary is built towards Mont Ponce, mm -hmm. right? This one was the other one. Yeah. They were waiting to come in. And it was like, all right, no. So the word has gotten out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But again, so we have a max capacity down there. So like if they're all just, if they're bringing a group of 12 to 15 people or something, it changes, and I don't have the staff to say, uh, um, you know, I can put on another lifeguard, even if it's for a couple of hours or something, and that's fine, but I need A to know in advance if I could be, so like, or we have to limit letting other people in. So um, that's become a thing, and so I don't, I don't know how we stop all these other ones. <laughs> so you can't. Yeah. Yeah, but no, they can't come onto the coast. So one, no, they can't, they have to side, pay to get on the coast. They have to go onto the other side. But I, I have like the first round definitely used the coast, and I just assumed that it was Calvary. Mm. Um, and then this other group were waiting, and I said, well, you know, again, I don't know. Where do they when they're in the beach area? Where do they go? They go to the right hand side when they, you walk in. Oh, okay, okay. And they go down. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and like and we've had, like, you know, some years there's been like ten or twelve people. Baptized, yeah. and sometimes it's only two or three. So it depends. What do they do these baptisms? So, like in the morning time? Is it like like uh, mid afternoon? So been, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like I mean, Calvary always sort of did around 11 o'clock, right? The they would go up, they do the service or lunch or whatever. And they come. But right. they at least, we know it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Calvary's been great. Like, yeah. These yeah. other groups, we don't know they're coming. I don't like them. But again, safety wise. Okay. It's an yeah. issue, and then these people aren't paying right. us at the game, no. and I'm thinking they have uh, been approved up here somehow. Oh. Which they haven't. Which they haven't, so I hit my door and I'm like, I don't know, like... So if they want to baptize at the boat ramp, yeah, they can, they can yeah. have that all day long. Like, that's that's yeah. their, that's their prerogative. My problem is like, I just don't... No, and then I'm like... You know, if, if, and, and I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but if they pay yeah. to get into the cove... Right. And then it's, yeah. However, they want right. to dip themselves in that water is their prerogative. I mean, like I don't know, like I, you know, I don't. Yeah. But as long as they're paying, yeah. I mean, it's Calvary Baptist was yeah. Calvary's Baptist was more like you know they they were like oh we want to go in there we had to open it up yeah. for them right oh, that's yeah. why they were they, paying. They're coming in August. They pay seven hundred fifty dollars to have the right. lodge. They do a service. Yeah, that's the yeah, thing. that's yeah. completely different. Yeah. 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 But if people just show up, they I mean I think that they need to pay. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. Whatever they want to do, I mean they want to do, but. Yeah, so they absolutely. Want that on the radar. Yeah, this is no, you know, I, I'm used to the one group that comes in. But it's right, like three weeks in a row. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just because they say they're here for a baptism, it doesn't give them a right, right. to just come. Like Not they pay. need to pay. Right, they need to pay. Yeah. Right. So that's a just on the radar. So it's other, you know, mm -hmm. um, for next year, and and then if we can, same thing is like I do really need. A week in advance, not like you know, uh, Renee gave me the Jordan and are here, and I was like on Friday, I'm like, well, Thursday night I noticed that they were coming, mm -hmm. but like again, they are really good, but they're a big group, mm -hmm. and we have been very busy, mm -hmm. and so even if they just send 10 people down, 
over the last few Sundays or Saturday, we've been at max capacity. Mm -hmm. So if I could beg somebody or make sure that I am here to be the extra guard, that's important. It's like we've all like in dinner. Yeah. It is important to know. So I can't. I just can't call somebody up right. Friday afternoon and say, "Can you?" Because that's those days are long gone. Yeah. I need to give people. Notice. Notice. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. we just make sure of that, Dory, that she yeah. has a list yeah. so, of these yeah. people? Yeah. Just, no. just a week, you know, because again, I can't ask the kids because if there is no kid that's going to say, yeah, I'll be yeah. Right so, uh, so what, are we a hundred percent certain that it was the church on Main Street that came here to do the baptism? Um, one of them was. The, the, this, this other one. But is, they, but they have came here to do a baptism without checking with us, though, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I asked okay. them who they were with, and I said, oh, are you, you know. With Calvary, and they said no. They said no. We're the one on the main street, and they were just waiting for people. So that one, but then this other group are, is definitely not Hanson. Ah. Um, another group, I believe, is Brockton. Okay. Um, we can't do anything about that except for them paying. But, but at least for the one on Main Street, we can go to them and say, yeah. "Hey, if you right. want to do a baptism, that's fine. fine. Just, just like we we can even we can even be like, hey, if you want to come in and you know." Yeah. You know, you want to get the lodge, like the same thing as Kevin. This is what we do for Calvary. Maybe you guys would be interested in it and we can, you know, do that. But um, they have to pay regardless. Pay, yeah. This is why I thought the wristbands would be good to do, or just the wristbands. We did that last year. Didn't did we, we do wristbands no, last year? No, we didn't do wristbands last yeah, we year. we did. We did. We did when I knew about it. The problem is, right. like, if I'm not, it, it, it was not that much. It's just, you know, like I, I, the Jovenetis came and I went down to the gate staff and I said, the Jovenetis are going to come, they're very good, Yeah. And if, we're going to give them, you know, a round, um, but if I don't know, and then the kids are scrambling right. to do that, it's just, it's just communication part, and again, it's a safety issue, Yeah. If, if, again. So we just need to make sure that we yeah. let Margaret know. Right, okay. The weekend. A week, at least a week it's a, before. It's a, a very, before. it's a very touchy issue. Also, it's not a. Um, it, people can bring up. The, people cause a lot of problems with this. If we were like, oh, Camp Kawani doesn't want people baptizing in the waters, you know. It, no, for it. It's so true. yeah, it's just true. yeah, just we just need to be perfectly clear. Like, if you're coming with a large group of people, please yeah. call us ahead of time, yeah. Yeah. so we can have enough lifeguards here to do it. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, so that's then, it. Right, right. Yeah, and once you pay the fee. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can do it right. they want. Because Calvary does it right. They right. contact me and they do it right. And I right. never heard from anybody else. No. And neither have you when they just showed up. Yeah. One day problems. Yeah. When did that, when was that? Um, so we had, it was like the first week in July. The second week in July. And like, okay. And, uh, so how many times did the Main Street Church come here? Was it just once? No, they just did it once. Okay. They, and, and then the other the other church that the, was not the, enhanced. I don't know who, the, there was one group, I don't know who they were. My gate staff, I was actually not around. And the gate staff said, um, there's a church group on that are going to come in and do that. And it was like at 11 o'clock. And I just assumed, this is that first round, mm -hmm. I assumed they were Calvary because they, yeah. I said, oh, I'm sure this is Calvary. And then when I checked with you, you're like, no, they're, they're not this. So <laughs> that was them. Then we had the Main Street one. And then we had this group from Brockton. Okay. So now that's, it'll be a four total. Okay. You know, that have sort of, and they can't, because they can't do it in September if one's going to get sick. <laughs> yeah. Clean water's here at Camp yeah, One. Clean water's here at Camp One. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's like, I Pure waters. Weird. Holy water. Yeah, that's, that's why everybody likes to come here for their baptisms. Uh, do you need a motion or anything with regard to baptisms? No, I don't think so. I think it's just a general discussion that they pay when they yeah. come. Yeah. They show up. Just heads up. And just have them pay. Like, yeah. This is why me having a list of people in advance, I can tell my staff yeah. that somebody, oh, this group is coming. And so right now, we just had <clears> two different <throat> families book birthday parties yep. for... August and I said great and I'm gonna hire one of the well, I'm gonna hire and have one of the gate staff come in and be the extra eyes and help manage all that and, and making sure they have wristbands and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But there's that's a limited time, it's like a three hour slot. Um, you know, so I know those are coming, I put it on the calendar so we can have yes, yeah, so you know extra eyes are, are yep. there. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So baptisms, um, just make sure they pay mm -hmm. or they can do it at the boat ramp. Yeah. Or at yeah. the boathouse, they can go throw them, you know, go, go over the water on the wall. You know, that's fine. <laughs> if we want to do. No, it's definitely not. Um, 
discussion on discounting, discontinuing discounts for nonprofit charitable fundraisers. Go ahead, Dory. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, as you know, we're the venue and we host different events. So if we have a craft fair come in, we charge $1,500 for seven hours. Mm -hmm. And the craft fairs usually um, have, like they can have a thousand people here and they have vendors, a lot of vendors and, and a lot going on and they, they make a lot of money, uh, which is great. So that's what we charge. But if they're a um, 50, um, if they're a um, uh, nonprofit charitable fundraiser, we charge, we have a discount for that. But it, as it's happening, this a particular one in, in particular for the, the craft fair, she, she booked four of them and she's, she's getting it at half price because it's a nonprofit. But we, I don't think that we need to be concerned that it's a nonprofit. What they do with their money or the vendors do with their money to kick in or whatever they want to do is their business. Our business is the venue. And if we have a craft fair, well, they should pay the craft fair fair price. I think my recommendation to you is to eliminate that um, the the company, the nonprofit charitable fundraisers. Eliminate that and just get rid of it. Because where, where am I seeing that? I'm okay, not... so if you look on the parties, yeah. Okay, you see it's graduations, birthday parties, party oh. showers, company events, reunions, celebrations of life. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Now you see nonprofit charitable fundraisers in there. I think that should be eliminated because what we're doing is we're hosting a craft and vendor fair, if you look down, which we should be charging fifteen hundred and we're only charging seven fifty because it's a nonprofit charitable fundraiser. And the so, official five oh three yeah, C whatever they're, they're it is. Right? Official. But it, it's it's not our business really, like what they do with their money, how much they give, how much they keep. You know, it, what does it matter to us? It, it well, I guess the other question, the question is, we, we put this in place like maybe a year, well, maybe recently, it was a year or two ago. Wasn't yeah, like because that. before we never well, had it. Correct, but why do we do that? Because why? because we had these 503s coming to us and asking for discounts anyway, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. And so we were like, all right, well, let's make a special rate for them. And, and I think I would definitely say, based on, it, it's my job to tell you, based on the revenues that we're looking at this year, um, I would highly recommend that we take that out. It, 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 this is four of them, that's $750 a whack. We're not making the revenues that we need to make. So we need to be sustainable. We don't want to go back to town meeting and be asking for money. So. But I guess the thing too, if we take this, if we go back and, and charge the full amount and we, yeah. have, we have fundraising organizations that come to us and say, you, uh, like, the, like um, yeah. the football people. Yes. The, can you know? You can always. Can we get? Can we? They come to us and they say, "Can we get a discounted rate?" You can. We have to say no to everybody. No, you can always make a decision. But you can't do it for some and not. You well, know what I mean? I mean, if it's youth foot, if it's Hanson youth football, is a little bit different than a craft mm. fair. But then you're picking and choosing. People. You're picking mm. and choosing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, no, so. It's an agenda item. Kinda. Yeah, I get so I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, and I get what you're saying too. Because, but the difference between like so the Hanson Youth Football, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, if they came in, they're a town right. sport. I'm, I'm not. Even but they are. Yet. But they're not a, technically a town sport because they're a five hundred one c three. You're right. right. But they are a town sport. Right. Right. They, they only cater to Hanson kids. Yeah. Um, now they're making money. Like so, yes. He, so he has the distinction though. Like everybody who does a fundraise is making money off of it some way or another, right? Yeah, <laughs> we're giving the place away. So we're charging seven hundred and fifty dollars, and they have thousands of people coming. They're making thousands of dollars. And I get what you're saying, Dory, but like, we have so many organizations come to us every year saying, "Can we discount this? Can we discount? And we do it." But she on a one-off basis. Like I don't know. Like we do it for some, we don't do it for everybody. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Can I say so? I've been here through a lot of meetings where people have said, can we get a discount? Yeah. You're saying this is 50% off. Right? 50%? So like, I, that's a lot. Yeah. We get, so surprisingly enough, we give more to some of the sports organizations. Yeah, right? so, yeah. So. But, but this is not a sports organization. Now, this is a, a private entity that is make, fully based on making money. That's what they do. And they have booked <coughs> six <coughs> times okay. with us. How many times do they have booked from right now going forward? Three more. Three more, okay. And they're already locked into the 750 rate. Uh, already locked into the 750. Okay. Is that three more this year? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, because the price is so good, she just booked the dates. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense to her. So that's um, my recommendation. Just take that out. We don't, we don't need to cater to nonprofit charitable fundraisers. If somebody wants to come to you, then that's when you, you know, if this person who's doing the um, fundraiser, the um, craft fair, if they want to come to you and say, hey, I'm a private um, entity and um, I just, I don't want to pay that much, you know, can you give me a discount? No. Or, yeah, sure, whatever you feel. I mean, they, they are very welcome to come to you just like everybody else. But to just have it as a thing, a non-profit charitable fundraiser, I, I don't think it makes any sense. I think it behooves us to get rid of it. Any comment? <laughs> and then have have the, the people address you as they do. They come to you. You know, like you just did one. Um, I forget, I talked to somebody today. You did it in December. How much she did, make off of that? Oh, a lot. Well, so is, if it's a craft fish, she's selling tables, right? Vendors. So craft, she, yeah. But she, she's organizing the craft fair. Yeah. And she's selling those tables yes. per person, okay? Yes. Is she selling them for 100 bucks a table? $400 a table? Yeah, probably 400 500 bucks a table. And when they come in here, I've covered you, both of the events that yeah. been here. Yeah. And when they come in here, I mean, this building is absolutely it's stuck. Bad. And then there's a problem with parking. And yeah. I had to tell them that they had to get their own detail officer because we don't have even room for it. And we're giving it away at $750. And just, you know, so it, it, it's time to look at it and say, okay, it, it makes no sense for us. So what you're saying we're is the, the 750 is not worth the time and effort you're putting into actually running it? No, it's <laughs> really like the, Okay. Um, okay. So I think if you just eliminate the nonprofit charitable fundraisers from the, the rate sheet under the parties, I think that'll satisfy it. And if somebody wants to come for you and ask for a discount, They'll come to you and ask for a discount. Maybe you know. It doesn't know. have to be 50%. Maybe you know. And it doesn't have to be 50%. Right. If it's 10% or 15%. Yeah. You can do it like 25%. Yeah. Or whatever you want it to do. But not 50%. Is it ignored in any other, like, I mean, because I know it was done done like the Sons of Italy. Do other places have a discount? And probably is that why they booked it all up? Other places they're... aren't that expensive. Right. So, like, if you go to. DA, for example, right. it's four hundred fifty bucks, and you can do whatever, whatever's there, right? So, I, I, I get it. it it's this is a different place than the AA, yeah. and as, as much as I love. And the there's AA. the kitchen. Yeah. yeah, we offer a lot more. Um, what do you guys think? Anything? Nothing? Well, what about the craft fairs? Could you charge a price, I don't know if this, this could be totally crazy, but could you charge a price to take, take up the space and then X amount per table so that what, if it's in the event of a craft fair, then you know, it's, you're gaining dependent on the side, side of the... Um, so you're talking about charging a rate for the craft fair. So if it's, you know, say, um, you know, you go twelve fifty. And yep. then you say, okay, um, I'm not sure what a reasonable number to throw out, but per table that you get to sign up. Or like up to five tables. Like it's this much. No, I, uh, okay. Like if they, if they get a hundred different vendors of tables and um, I don't, what do they charge for a craft fair or a table to be in a craft fair? Depends. Oh, yeah. 50 yeah. bucks. Yeah. So, so if it's about, <clears throat> say if it's $100, yeah. you know, uh, $100 for the table and you get $10 per table on top of that. I mean, the, so the problem, I the only problem I see with that is that you're getting into managing a craft fair. Yeah. You have to go there and count <laughs> yeah. the tables and stuff. Um, I mean. Right. Then you're getting into the, the really deep into their business. I mean, the only the only thing that I would say is if you want to get rid of the nonprofit and charitable fundraiser rate that's on here, mm -hmm. then somewhere on this sheet, you would have to say for a discounted rate for nonprofits and charitable fundraisers, please reach out to us. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And have it somewhere listed on here, mm -hmm. because you know we we become the camp has become quite the hot commodity for local organizations to come and do stuff at, which is great because mm -hmm. 
you know, everybody loves coming here. Sports teams love, like, everybody loves coming here. So um, I don't want to, I, I, I don't disagree with you, Dory. I think if she's making $8,000 off that event, then she could pay the $1,500 for the, for the lodge. Right. Right. But on the other hand, I think that you don't want to advertise that we're no longer catering to nonprofit or charitable organizations. So you have to put something on here that expressly says, we, we still want you here, but you have to contact us in order to get a discounted rate. Mm -hmm. Right, like I worry about like the small organizations that, you know, like the community, we've been trying to get community organizations in here and I think that was one of the reasons that we put this in place, yep. you know, to get like the small groups of, you know, be available for Hanson yeah, and the surrounding that was community. the intent. Right. What is and the, now it's what's her organization? Her what, organization? Yeah, what's the organization? She, she owns her own business, and it's... Um, but how is it a non-profit? It's a non-profit because she does give to... Um, she a, gave to the Girl Scouts one time. Like, she just lists organizations. I think it's the same lady. Maybe. And she just lists, like, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and then she a harsh portion of it goes to the yes. girls. And Animals, how horses. Much, how much of a portion? Well, I don't know. We don't know. And, and that's the thing, you don't know with a nonprofit. They could take all the money and give you this much, or they could give you that much, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think she had one at Meadowbrook, and like no one went. Yeah. And, yeah. She will also, um, she gets paid people by their, by their boots, their stations, or whatever. And like I said, they're here everywhere. Like the last one, they were all over the deck. They were on the Overlook thing here. This one was stuffed, that one was stuffed. But then yeah. she also, so she's making money off of them, but then she also comes in here, which is the last time, she set up like two or three tables of her own. So she was making money, she was getting money, she was making money, oh, yeah. but she was only paying half price. She only paid half price. Okay. So all, it, it kind of didn't make any sense oh, to me. Oh, what go ahead, Justine. Yeah, the amount of times they can use the half price. You know, up to two events a year. That's not a bad option. Mm. That's a pretty good option. But why half price? I mean, what, what would be our thinking in that? I think I, well, I, I, I'll tell you I'll tell you what it is is because this this nonprofit charitable fundraiser was not meant for her it was not meant for a craft fair it's not it was meant for somebody to come in here like you know if we exactly. like like how the right exactly so 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 you know what I so that's that's it that's why we got stuck that's why she's having a craft fair and she should be paying fifteen hundred and she's paying seven fifty okay. because we have that in there. Okay. So that's why I'm saying take it out and then the craft fair pays the craft fair price. See, I'm I I am I am the opposite. I'm I'm the opposite of what you're talking about. Well, we're on the same page. We're just saying different <laughs> words. Keep the nonprofit charitable fundraiser in there mm -hmm. and tell her she just needs to pay full price because it's a craft fair and she's making money off it. She's going to say, I'm sorry, I have a 5013C, and it's right here, and you have non-profit charitable fundraisers, $750. Then what do I say? What do we say to that? And this is like the, the, the baptism stuff. It's like she's found a squeaky way to get through. Well, I mean, the other thing, too, is like, how do we, honestly, how do we know, do we have it in writing how much she actually makes? What is she, what is no, she, how do you don't. know, Dory? How do you know? Because of the amount of vendors, there's over a thousand. Yeah, but how do you know? How do you what does she charge? We don't know how much money she gives away, right. how much money she keeps. Right. But That's, it's a craft I mean, I'm sure she makes okay. money. Okay, so so but this, it's a craft but fair. this is and this. She's not paying a craft fair fee. This is all. This is all beside the point, though. Yeah. The point that we have here is we have a hole in our policies and procedures, right. and we need to fill it. Right. So for how, this woman. Yeah. For this woman and for anybody. This is the same thing that we had with the people doing weddings here and booking it under. Yeah. I know. You know, birthday parties. Yeah. So. So how do so how do we fill the hole without you know keeping 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 the the gate open for people who are actually doing fundraisers and not selling anything? Right. And they will come to it. They will call me on the phone, and I will put them on the agenda, and, and that's how it works, and that's how it's always okay. Worked. And it's always worked well. So okay, so it, you want to strip the nonprofit and charitable fundraisers out of the potty section for seven fifty? Yeah. I that needs to be on this sheet somewhere though. That that if you have a nonprofit or charitable fundraiser, please reach out to us for a rate. It has to be on here somewhere because I don't want the I don't want somebody thinking that you know we're not doing it anymore, yeah. right? Um, if you want to take it out of the potties for seven fifty, mm -hmm. then I have no issue with that. We can put it down below with all the discounts. You know, nonprofit charitable fundraisers. You know, see camp for one commission. Yes. Something like that. Yes. And then you could do it on a case-per-case -case basis. 
is just not a blanket. I'm a 5013C and I get $750. Yeah, you do it on, on a case by case basis. I would make it. I would make it a little bit more. I'd, I'd make it kind of like how you have the other writing on here, just mm -hmm. under the company workshops, and make it kind of bigger than the the discounts that are held there, and say. If you have a nonprofit or charitable fundraiser, please reach out for a discounted rate, and then we can go from a case by case basis on that part of it. But I don't want I don't want people to think that we're not catering to nonprofit or charitable fundraisers. Yep. And this particular person just found a loophole. So, yeah, I agree. So I don't I don't care if she makes ten dollars a table, right? Yeah, it's right. like if that's the rate, and if she wanted a different rate, then she can come get a different rate. I mean, I can, you know, I I, I don't know, I you know. Yeah. But. Right. Um, okay. Okay. So, um, is there any other questions about that or any other discussion? No? No. Can we see the, the revised flyer before it Oh, yeah. Gets well, closer? why don't we put it, I'll do it and put it on the next agenda and you guys yeah. can approve it. Just look at it. Do you yeah. want us to make a motion to remove it now and then you can yeah. do it? Or do you, okay, so you want us to make a motion to remove this now? Yeah. And then next agenda, mm -hmm. you're going to have the new rate sheet on here? Yes. Okay. And you can um, that. I'll entertain a motion to remove the nonprofit charitable fundraisers for $750 an hour under the uh, parties and make it so nonprofit and charitable fundraisers will need to ask us for a discounted rate. Right. So we're, yes. Okay. So, yeah, second. So, uh, I, need, I need to move on that one. I need the motion. Oh, so moved. Do I have second? Second. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Right. Fantastic. Thank you. So, I'm sorry, I, just, I, I was looking at the Cranberry Cove numbers trying to figure out if that was proper. Those were the proper numbers. Uh, okay, wait, no, discussion on discounting, uh, compounding of discounts. Man, Dory, Dory's really becoming the fiscal uh, hawk over here, huh? Look at her. Okay, go ahead, Dory. What do you got? <laughs> it was like, okay, we're down yeah, 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 that's okay. Yeah. What's up? So, okay, so um, this is the old agenda, you're right, Mr. Chairman, because I, my computer didn't work, so I couldn't get to the other one, but based on that discussion on discounting, compounding of discounts. So right now, as it stands, if somebody, somebody could get a 45% discount, if they're a Hanson resident, they could get a 25% discount, and if they book it off season, it's another 20, mm -hmm. and they're getting a 45% discount, and we cannot afford that. We simply cannot, our revenues cannot sustain that. They're not sustaining us whatsoever. So my recommendation is that we don't compound the, any of the discounts and that the higher discount prevails. It's one discount and the highest one prevails. Whether you're military, resident, um, whatever your discount is, off season, whatever the highest one is, just one, no compounding. That I don't be. think we have a compound at the 20% wedding discount off season. We did, we did actually at a, at a meeting a while ago, it was the, with the time, I, I know we did, with the off-season discount, it was, you, you could compound it with the, anyway, you could compound it with the um, Hanson senior, Hanson resident discount. But, but anyway, if that's not, but if that's where you want to go, that would be great. I, I think it should be one discount and that's How great. many times does that happen a year? A lot. See, there's a lot. But how many, Dory, like, do you know? Do oh, you know? like five, ten, fifteen? Where, well, the off-season? Not that much. I'd say three times a year, okay. the off season. Um, the Hanson discount is a lot. We yeah, have a yeah. lot. And that, that brings me to an, another point I have to get on that. But if you're, yeah, I think that's great. If you're, if you feel the same way, that's just, it's one discount and not, no company. Well, I, so the, the off season 20% discount, right? Yeah. That, that shouldn't be able to be compounded with anything else. Yeah. I, I don't. Okay. So. It's all about it's it's all I'm, I'm thinking about this about like how many people actually would use this discount you're a handsome mm -hmm. resident with the with the with an active with um, a military discount right so that's that'd be 35 percent discount for the hall or something like that now how many times does that happen a year I, i'd go ahead and we say do, not a lot not we haven't do any military okay we do a lot of resident okay we do a lot of a lot of residents fine right because yeah, even even if it's only one it's still a 25 percent discount but I, I see, so I see the problem that you're talking about yep. when you compound the 20% off season with the 25% resident. Yep. 
I don't remember. I don't remember that being a thing. But it, it was probably a thing. The from, off season. The, no, 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 the off season oh. discount. I, we just haven't voted on that in a while. Yeah. No, this was this was. I don't think you, this was before you. Oh, it's before me. Because okay. we were getting no. We were trying to get business. We were. And yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was before you. <coughs> yeah. So and I just want to clear that up. That, <coughs> that it's, if you if that's how you, the way you want to vote, that you feel that way. That it's one discount. Not piled on top of it. Because we were so dead in we like so November, dead. December, yeah. January, February that we thought we'd add another discount. Right. Okay. Thoughts? Or anything? Yeah, if it's a store, you get the, the best coupon. Yeah. 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 Um, I think you're crazy. I, I, personally, if I were planning an event, I don't, it wouldn't deter me to be like, oh, you can't compound it. I would be fine with taking the best one. Okay. You know, twenty five percent is still a huge discount. Um, okay. And I don't think other places offer that big of a discount. They usually don't. No. They don't. No. I mean, the only the only problem that I have is not compounding the military discount on top of the resident. Yeah. That's the only problem that I have. Yeah, that'd be okay. So. It, because I'm, I'm off of the, the military. Right? I mean, well, we don't use it all that, we, all, we don't yeah. use it all that often, and honestly, like a temp, uh, listen, not. that's not, yeah, that's not gonna make, a, if 10%, let me just put it this way, if 10% military discount on top of the 25% resident is gonna sink this camp, then none of us should be here. Yeah. So, um, you know, you so. They have to have proof. Of, they have to have yeah, proof well, they have to have proof, like the military. So I, I think, I think, um, I think that makes sense, not compounding the off season with the resident. Um, yeah. But still compounding the veteran military discount with the resident makes perfect sense. Okay. To me, yep. at least. But then we're gonna so okay, so let's just the twenty the twenty percent discount for the weddings held off season, there's no other discount that you can get with that. Right. So even if somebody comes in and they're from Pembroke but they're military and they come in, they get the off season rate. Right. That's it. They don't get the discount. Right. The they don't get to choose. They don't get to right. choose. For Hanson residents, for you you get you get the twenty five percent with the with the with the military discount on top of it, or if you're off season, you can get the same thing—the twenty five percent with a ten percent military discount off. That that's like your. If you're a handsome resident, you essentially won't use the off season discount. Yeah. Right. Because the so this residents. should be so this twenty five percent should be in parentheses. Um, uh, what's what's the opposite of off season? <laughs> Awesome. No, that 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 twenty five. That, no, no, that, no, that twenty five percent is going to be twenty five percent in perpetuity for handsome residents. Off on doesn't matter because that twenty five percent is higher than the twenty percent discount for weddings held off season. You know what I'm saying? Am I speaking Dutch? No. So that's the one. Twenty five percent is higher than the twenty. Yeah. So the off season. So so I'm never as a handsome resident. I'm never going to use that twenty percent off season discount because right. my discounted rate is already twenty five percent. Right. Right. But it's just for people coming in here from Pembroke. From, right. Right. That right. are like, oh, I want a wedding in December. Then you can get. The then 20%. you can get the twenty percent. Right. Yeah. And if they happen to be a military, then you, you know, get the ten. Then you don't yeah. get the ten when you're in Pembroke. You only get the ten if you're in Hanson. For the off season rate. No, I don't know about that. I don't think I agree with that. What do you think? So you just think the military discount, if your military discount, you just tack on ten percent? Yeah, well, I yeah. Right. I have no problem with that either. Okay. So you can only compound the military discount? That's the only thing that yeah. can add one extra to it. Yeah. yeah. Um Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had um an educator discount? The reason why I ask is um, I've been noticing a lot of retirement parties for teachers at different places. Um, we haven't, we, we haven't, but what we do do is when teachers come to us, they want to do like something here, not like a party, but more of like, the, well, yeah, kind of like the party, right? Like, I mean, more kids, like kids parties and stuff mm -hmm. like the middle school or like the Indian head, they want to like have the kids come up here and do something. Then we usually do that, but we don't usually do the retirement parties. Get kind of fishy with doing that because, like, also, so on top of that, like, is it just educators or is it people that work at schools? Yeah. You know, because if it's a teacher, then you know. But my my wife works at a school, but she's not an educator. She get the same discount, <laughs> you know, which I don't think she would. But um, that's not a bad idea. When, so when we have a rate discussion in January, right? That's one thing that you should you should write down and say, you know, what what discounts do you want to add or what how much the rates want to be. Do last year we did a um, 
what was it? How many different places did we go to look for rates before we set the rates for last year? Or was it the year before that? Yeah, three or four, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. We, did, we did a pretty good rate comparison with some of the other yeah, we're reasons around here. Yeah. You can hear the disdain in Dory's voice when she says well, that. Well, yeah, that's a good point. What's the next point, Dory? Oh, wait, no. So we need, no, do we need a motion for this? Okay, we need a motion. I'll entertain a motion to make the 20% discount for weddings held in our off season from November to April as non compoundable with the exception of the military discount. So moved. Do I have a second? Okay, is everybody clear on what that means? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody's clear on what that yeah. means. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, okay, Dory, That's let's okay. get to the next point. Okay, I'm not going to like this. Okay. So maybe we can put it up to January. Okay. <laughs> My recommendation is I think the Hanson resident discount, the 25%, is too much. My recommendation is 10%. For Hanson resident discount, ten percent for weddings held off season, and fifteen percent for military. Making military the most important, we hardly get any, and we have a lot of resident discounts. So twenty twenty-five percent discount off a wedding is a lot, and we we're not having the revenues this year that we had last year. And I really think, my opinion, that you should dial it back from 25% to 10% 10, 10 across the board, except the military 15. That's my opinion. Okay. Right. Originally, 25, I agree 25 is a lot. It's it a was lot. never. Nobody does a 25%. It was like, I mean, I want to say it was like 15 it, or something. And then, It was 15 and, when the, when, when it costs, when, yeah. when renting the hall was $500. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so the, this, this is the data that we're going to need when we have this discussion because we're not going to have this discussion now because I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about this hands and resident discount, I right? Know. Extremely passionate I about know. it. It's not, the, it's not on the it's not on the apparently <laughs> apparently so it's not on the agenda to discuss that. So we're not going to discuss it right now. But the one thing that we should have is the amount of parties that we held ever. How many times have we used that discount last year? Yeah, we need, no, I want numbers. I'll give you numbers. Yeah. If, it was, yeah. if it was 40 times and you can say, oh, we've lost $40,000 right. using this discount, then that's a better discussion than we've used it twice. Yeah. And then we've only lost 1,000 bucks. Okay. Okay. You will, you will be amazed. I will, I, I hope I will be. Amaze us. <laughs> I will amaze you, but it also brings me to my next point on that. If okay, I mean. go ahead. So now here's the question. So where, where it's getting out. So you have a bride and groom, and they want to get married. Well, the grandfather lives in Hanson. So if the grandfather is the renter on the rental mm -hmm. agreement, and the grandfather pays for the whole price, does the bride and groom get the twenty-five percent discount? How are we gonna police that? Mm -hmm. I, like I don't well, know. No, how but we I mean, what that, what but... is the rule? Like we have never clarified that. Is it the renter that gets the twenty-five percent, or is it the bride and groom? Because. You, I can answer it, but we've never discussed that. Who pays the bill? Really? Who who pays really? the bill if this? Is, so if somebody breaks a window in here, yeah. who pays the bill? Is that the renter or the people that are having the party? I guess is the question. If if well, the if the person renting the hall, if I break this window and that person's held responsible, the person who paid the, the person who paid and yeah. is on the yeah. renter's yeah. agreement no, gave you the right. check. No, right. So my my right. My question to you is just so that we're all clear, because I I honestly don't know. Because I had this question asked to me, and I, and I don't know the answer. Does the grandfather get to get the twenty five percent if he pays for everything and he's responsible and he pays the forty dollars and he pays you know the security deposit? And he does everything. Okay, so as long as you're clear with that, he get they get the twenty five percent. Yeah. The the bride and the groom doesn't have to be Hanson residents. There's no way for us to please that. No, uh, no, so, I, I'm, I know, but I'm just so, saying. So so yeah, is I that mean, the intent? That. Is that the intent? That makes sense to me. Okay, because that's what right? I, 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 I see the person crazy? that is paying and has it wrote the check. That's, yes. yeah. Is the I, I don't even know. Right. Take, I, take I, the check out of it. Take the check out of it. Don't even take money out of this whole equation. Sign. Whoever signs on that dotted line for that renters agreement that if they burn down this place on their malice, I can go after them for it. That's the person that I'm going to take the discount. That has from. to be from. I don't care if that, their yeah. great granddaughters are getting married that, and they, you know, they from Maine. I, I don't care. But, that's what I told them, but yeah. I just wanted, didn't want to be saying something incorrect. No, that, I that's to be clear that that's what I'm doing. If they're lucky enough to know somebody, if they're lucky enough to know somebody who lives in Hanson, right? And which, they're willing to. And, do and they're willing to do that for it, then Perfect. that's that's. The I agree. Part. I, I just I just wanted to be clear. At the 25% discount rate, not the 10%. Well, for now. Yeah, for now, for now. Yeah, for now. For now. 
So <laughs> I will die on that hill. Well, next time. Um, okay, so. So these are putting 25% of the grave. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna go up to Fern Hill Cemetery. You're gonna be seventy-five percent of my gravestone is gonna be the other twenty-five percent is gonna be right here at Camp Colony. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Is there anything left of this rate agreement that we have to talk about, Dory? You done shattering my soul today? I'm done shattering your soul, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. She sprung that. I mean, she didn't even tell me she was gonna do We're that. We're gonna buy you a brick. Yeah. And put it out there. It's gonna say right at least seventy-five percent. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent of the brick. What That's good. Going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> kept that, kept that discount until it was turned into condos. Have a good time. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> Rick will be here forever. Um, I see. Yeah, I see the Cranberry Cove revenue and expenses sheet. Um, Dory, would you like to walk us through this? Oh yes. This is just up until uh, last week when I printed the um, packet for you. So we're showing once again. It looks like we'll be doing having a twenty thousand dollar loss probably just like last year with the cold. There hasn't I, it hasn't been as many expenses this year um, because most of the expenses were last year. But you mm -hmm. know it's just a, it is what it is. It's payroll and it's expenses, it's revenue and expenses. So as you can see, if you they're averaging about four thousand dollars a week on payroll, five more weeks if you calculate that at four thousand. We'll be at another loss again of twenty thousand, like we were last year. Where are you getting twenty thousand from this? I'm not seeing twenty thousand. I'm sorry. Can you? So what? what okay. So. So what, if you do if you do the five weeks in payroll, that's another twenty grand. Mm -hmm. So so expenses to date would be forty three. Yep. And we've had a total revenue of forty so far. A, a total revenue of forty. Yeah. I just didn't um, put in. Um, I didn't put in some other expenses. Okay, um, so that I, are in, yeah. So this is it's a little bit premature because last year we did this in September. It's a little premature, but it looks like. Um, I I don't see twenty thousand dollars in in, yeah, no, in, 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 in debt here. In the we, we did you know we we did the Avery pumping and we yeah, had yeah that was the only really. How many, how many how many Avery how many times did Avery pump and come here? So yeah. how many how many times did Avery pump and come here? They had to come twice. Yeah, yeah. that was about seven. Grand. Are they gonna be coming like, like seven grand? That's okay, so I have two thousand two thousand yeah. here for Avery pumping. Yeah. So seven grand wait, what are the, what are we we're gonna have to have come uh, Tuesday for another thousand. For another thousand. So yeah. uh, where where's seven grand coming from though? Where's, where's the Avery pumping for seven grand coming from? I, did, I didn't have a chance to put it on here yeah. yet. This is just, it's kind of incomplete. I probably shouldn't have even put it in here. Yeah. This is just me figuring, um, you know, where we stand. Yeah, because I don't think it was that much. Last year it was like 800 and something dollars. Yeah, it was more this year. Yeah, one yeah. bill was 25 yeah, So if they've come twice And they've year. come twice, yeah. Um, but this is just um, five weeks, but there'll be, I think even more weeks of payroll, but th this really is premature. I probably okay. shouldn't even put it in. So, but I'm just giving you a, a snapshot. Okay. But when I did my calculations, it looked like it'd be at about a 20 grand lot. I can put it on the it agenda next on, time. Like the last week payroll won't be that much because we'll have a much shortened yeah. Um, yeah. hours. And yep. yeah. So I, I'll put it on again next week and we'll, we'll have a better, a better picture. Yeah, you should probably send this out in the next couple of days, once you get a better picture of it, you should probably do this up. Cause I don't, if you're saying that we have a $20,000 loss in the Cove, that's concerning and I don't see it yet. Yeah. That's what we had even, even when you add the seven, case. no, we had $10,000 loss last year. This and that was without raising rates. And then, and so in this year, if we have 25,000 so far passes bar at the beach, that's without you to pay. I did, Just, I, did I went through the numbers and right now, like up till the end of, um, a week ago we were almost even but then in august it changes because we're not getting we're not getting people buying the passes right um as much we still have some right. money coming in i'm not even talking about passes that are there like like i'm talking about yeah, the, the, the so like the yeah. the unit pay so we have forty thousand yeah. we have forty thousand dollars in revenue as of this yeah. date right let's that's that's an agreeable number yeah. okay five, uh, so take out all the other expenses and just do payroll for the 10 weeks right if we just yeah. took the revenue that we have right now with yeah. 10 weeks worth of expenses, that's just about even. $40,000 is $40,000. Yeah. So 
And that's without us selling another pass, right? Not another dime comes in the door from, from the cove. Now, if you're saying that we have $20,000 in Avery expenses, no. purchasing a toilet, national grade water sampling, um, there's a problem. Where, what are those expenses? Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah, there's, we, a, there's a huge we problem. We negotiate for that because well, so no, no. I'm, listen, if if Avery pumping, Avery is not doing that. It was like it was like eight hundred dollars last year. We've seen the bill. Yes, yeah, it was twenty five hundred for one for one. Yeah, for one truck and or two trucks for one truck last year. But you only came once last year. Well, so it's it's I think it's like what five hundred for. Yeah, truck or there was a five. There was a five hundred, a five hundred, and a twenty five hundred. So was the twenty five hundred for the lodge? The, the pumping of the. Um, yeah, but he did three. That was like three. He did the three tanks. <coughs> three, three, uh, three truckloads. Three truckloads of the cove. Yeah, we had a, a, a toilet with rag. Ah, okay. So, so, so that okay. So that's 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 different then. Okay. Yeah. So if if that like an anomaly. That much money. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Have I have to, to do this again. Yeah, this needs to be redone money. because this I. Is, yeah, this I, is premature. I shouldn't have put this in. No, I like that you put it in. I just, I just yeah. need, I just need the full oh, picture absolutely. when you put it in. Yeah, yeah. My, my numbers without like Avery were we were going even. Yeah, and I know August we will go down because we're not going to have as many people buying the seats. Yeah, but we're not going to have as many people on right. shift and, anyway. Right. right? So last week we will definitely not have as many people on shift. So I'll take ten thousand dollars and right. loss any day of the week with it because that's a, that's a part of the. Yeah. The cove business, but yeah, um, and well, I'll uh, actually get get it to you and put it on the agenda if you, again. Jordan, did you get a? Um, I haven't gotten a new um, meter pay at all for like the passes and stuff. So like Lisa sent you one of those. Yeah, she's Just been free. Lisa's been giving oh, okay. them to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, so I guess we'll we'll talk about we have yeah. to, we need to get update passes and yep. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Okay, um, old business. I guess that yeah. I haven't. Was this under? Was this supposed to be under old business? Yeah, no. Well, I think it was under the budget. Okay. Yeah, but I, I got messed up today with my computer, so. Okay. Um, do you have anything for old business? No, I do not. Okay. Anybody else have anything for old business? Uh, I'm good. I wasn't mentally prepared for that discussion yet. Uh, okay. Um, departmental facilities report. Um, Chris, you want to go? I put in the toilet. Nice. <laughs> awesome. That's fun. Okay. Uh, just fixed the docks up today. Did some lights in the pavilion. The frontier. What's been going on? He did uh, lights in the, the fan in the frontier. Nice sailing fan in the frontier. Nice. It's awesome. Look, it's great. The lighting is great. The lighting in the pavilion is awesome. He did an incredible job. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And Do you need money for anything? Y'all good? Any purchases for anything like that? No. No. No, you paid. We're reimbursing him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. The door. Did we get? Yeah, we gotta get back. We're to the door. Yeah. Okay. We'll handle that. We're we'll fall. Yeah, we'll fall. Fall. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Anything else? Good. Yeah, it's all good. Camp looks great. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. No, um, Dory. Do you have anything else? I do not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. How have the um the weddings like do you think that the weddings been have groups been good? People have been happy? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The weddings have been great. I got actually I was gonna put this into but my I just had no computer today, so I couldn't but um yeah, I was gonna give I'll give this to you next week, just giving you an idea of how many weddings, like um and I know you don't like this information, like um the, the weddings have been great. Everybody's been very happy, wouldn't you say, Jen? Mm -hmm. No problems, no mm -hmm. issues. It's been great. You've been great. Um, but July, like fiscal year weddings, July 1, uh, 2022 to 2023, we had 43 weddings because mm -hmm. that was the two years combined because of COVID. Yeah, for COVID, yep. Right. Then the next fiscal year, 2023 to 2024, we had 12. But this fiscal year already, July 1, 2024 to June 30, 2025, we already have 19 booked, so that's good. Yeah. Our, our revenue is a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, it's better. Yeah. yeah. And you know, so that's. That's why I was. Uh, that's why I keep saying I keep harping on the budget and say bring the. We can keep the money in the budget. We just have to scale it back, yeah. right? Um, yeah, because we'll only like next year, Mr. Cameron, when we set our budget. I mean, we will only be able to set it as much as our revenues are. So if our revenues remain at 227. 
227,000, which it is now, but he hasn't finished doing all the posting, so it'll be higher. Yeah. We, we're not allowed to set our budget higher than that. And so that, that's perfectly fine, right? Right. Because so we, we can, yeah. Right. Like this year, we had a $364,000 budget. We didn't use 50,000 of it, so it goes right into our retained earnings, and we may need some of those for our budget when we set it you yeah. know, for next year. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, the weddings have been going very good this year. I mean, everyone is very happy. They complimented how good the place looks. Um, they're very happy. They, you know, everything goes smoothly. Everyone's very compliant. And at the end of the events, people come back numerous times, even when the lodge is closed. I, <clears throat> I've been in here breaking down tables and chairs, setting up for another event, and I'll have bang on the door, bang on the window, and it's some, someone coming back. To say thank you so yeah. much. This place is so beautiful. Oh, that's great. So much yeah. Fun. That's yeah. good. You know, that's I mean, it is a little tricky to get a van in the window. It was across the desk at last, but yeah. Yeah. And that's a little creepy. Um, we yeah. need to get we need to get a table at these wedding expos that are coming. Did you up. see that? I did forward you one. That was the one that we did in the past. Yeah, I'm super bad at that. I don't do wedding stuff. That's Megan, and I can't. I for the life of me, I don't do events. Well, that's what I do for my job. I can look at numbers. I'm like I'm like a I'm like a, a apparently a municipal budget. I mean, if, rain Renee, man, have you talked to Renee about it? I mean, has is that on her radar? I have not talked to Renee about it. Um, okay. That's something. Maybe we should that, go on the yeah. next agenda. Um, yeah, we should yeah. probably go on the next agenda. Wedding expos because they yes. right now they're registering for the fall. Yes. Um, and you can call and you you know we we can play the whole town property municipality we can get like special discounts for mm -hmm. tables um but it doesn't take that much we have the tablecloth yeah and we just bring <laughs> we it's just talking we have a tablecloth it's just talking <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We yeah. Made, hey last time I, we were there we listen i just okay. uh, we just need somebody to do it bye margaret thank you See margaret you. Bye. have fun bye. um we just need somebody to do it i i, mean, I it's yeah. it's Renee is the event coordinator. Renee should be doing it. Yeah. Um, so we need to talk to her about doing it and yep. getting on to starting that whole process. If Renee can't do it for whatever reason or for one way or another, then you know if you want to do it or if Justine, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, have at it. We have a budget for it. We voted last time to get a budget for it. And yep. I know Chris was talking about getting some sort of booth kind of thing set up for it. Um, you know, kind of doing that. So we just need to get it going because if we get five weddings, right, that's... Forty thousand dollars. So, like, we just got the. We went to, um, I think it was Lantana. We set up a table, um, super small, and even one of the ballrooms. And people didn't even know. Was it Brockton? Is that where is that? Randolph. Randolph. Yeah, right. Randolph. Yeah. yeah well, and they didn't even know we existed. So many people don't. So. Yeah. They know. I was going to do a wedding up here after the Owls' house. Mm -hmm. So I just I went online to like check out the operation and um, the the picture thing. You shot you over to a site called the Knot. Yeah, that's what we have. Just, yeah, I think I couldn't find a song at all. Yeah, we're on the knot. The what? It's the wet wet wet. Like Massachusetts, like it was not there. Like, holiday, everything was on the side. We get inquiries from wedding wire still. Oh right? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We check for that. We need somebody to be yeah. working on wedding presents. Yeah, yeah. 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 kind of shocked. I mean, holiday in, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, everything yeah. was on there. I'll I'll look at it tonight. See I if did. I can figure out what's going on with it. I don't I don't have access to it. But go ahead. Sorry, Mr. Chairman. I did have something on old business. We had. If you remember, a couple of the crew that were here for the old breed, the filming, mm -hmm. they came back and they took pictures uh, at no charge to us, and they set up. Um, they did set up the. And so you can see the, the photos are amazing. Yeah, yeah, just incredible. You know, and they got to send them to us at no charge, and um, then when we have them, then we've got to revamp our website and you know get that second part. But the Would, pictures that they took. Yeah. Incredible. So, you know somebody who does websites, right? Yeah. Okay. And this person right. does okay. websites too. Can, okay. So, yeah. so let's get some quotes going for a website because a website can go ahead and do. That's it. Right. One does for it, so we, it doesn't mean that we can go through and, and spend it all right now, but we might be able to, you know. To, I mean, the other thing too is like, yeah, we can develop the website, but it's like it's a lot of work to maintain it, and we don't have. I mean, I can do it. I do it like part time, but like I don't have a full time job. I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's but hard. It's, 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 but I think should I think I should be doing that? Don't you think? Yeah. Awesome? I I want to be able to do that. Take that off. It's yeah. not easy, Dory. I, I know. Can you bring uh, Sarah back into it? Right. Uh, 
You have to be a little tech savvy. That's the only so, thing. So, okay. So, so first things first, let's figure out what, how much it would cost us to get a website before we would have a discussion on how to manage it, right? And then we yeah. can go ahead and get the management portion of it down yeah. and packed into pieces. A lot of this is going to fall on you overnight because yeah. that's just the, that's just the nature of the beast. But yeah. yeah. So, so, and, and yes, it is some, well, you have to be tech savvy in some portions, but if it's like a WordPress, you could do. It's not, it's uh, a whole back end thing. It's very complicated. It's very, I can show you. Some I don't, de I don't design websites. So I, I don't, I, 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 I think I've, I think I've done three <laughs> in my life and every single one of them are terrible, but, um, you know, I, let's have the discussion when we cross that yeah. bridge. We're not even looking at the river yet. So let's cross, let's, let's look yeah. at the river, cross the bridge, and then we'll get there. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, wait, we're waiting on the uh, pictures. As soon as we get the pictures, maybe we'll have them for next agenda uh, yeah. to look at them and then move. I mean, I can upload pictures. That's easy. Yeah. And yeah. The, 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 before we even do the website, we have to find out what's going on with the knot, why we're not advertising there properly. So I'll look at that tonight to see what's going on with that. Second thing is we need to get to some of those expos to just start handing pamphlets out to people and tell them to come here and booking tours. That's all we need to do is book tours. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, Cause you're right, Frank, because nobody comes here and says no. They come here and they fall in love with We need to get them here, yeah. We need to get them here. Some of those pictures, not to interrupt, some of those pictures that they took, I followed them around. And some of the ones that they took out here on the deck of like, there was a, a young couple that stood out here, you know. They're like after they hired after. Yeah, they I was here. Oh yeah. I had a meeting and I was yeah. like. Oh, yeah, you should have right. just told yeah. me to come down. I would have. Yeah, it's it's kind of bizarre, but. Look at the water, and they had the two foreheads pressed together, and they like they were holding the hands. There was a girl over here, and she was like trying to turn on the radio. There was another young man up there playing the piano. Well, they had like a little table set up, like they were having a dinner. The funniest thing was when they were down on the beach, and the girls in the wedding dresses were jumping into the pond. They jumped into the pond. And then that's when back the back oh, so cold. <laughs> that was one of the things we did. Okay. And they did the lighting. They have one with lighting that um, oh, that's cool. they took oh, down by the front table. The yeah, lighting was lovely. Like they, they look awesome. And it's all at no charge to us. Yeah. Melissa, you must have seen the lighting. It looked like a one. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Airport right, right through the, the, the south end, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. And then he had the lights all wrapped around the trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I would love to do that permanently. That'd be cool. I know. That would be good. Do I remember that year hanging the Christmas lights? Yes. I we have yeah, I my We have tons of Christmas lights. Okay, so let's um let's set the <laughs> so let let's set the next agenda date. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can find the next agenda date or the next meeting date. Sorry, not next agenda date. That was a stupid thing to say. Um. Okay, so the cove is closing on the twenty sixth, fifth, twenty fifth. Thank you. Um. Do we want to do another one? Do we want to do it in August on the 26th? Do we want to do the week before the closing on the 19th? That's school week, so it's kind of crazy. Maybe the week before that, like the hold week on. of the 19th. Okay, hold on one second. I'm just now. I'm now. I'm all discombobulated from the from the chat that Dory gave us. Hold on one second. <laughs> what? When did we open the cove? Uh, we opened it on um, the 16th, right? The 16th. Okay. Father's Day. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry. When do we want to do the um? When do we want to do the next meeting? Um, the week of the nineteenth, August. August nineteenth. Mm -hmm. Justine, does that work for you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, on. The 19th. So I can't do the nineteenth, oh. but I can do any other day that week. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this, this seems too easy. Um, okay, so what about the... Like a Thursday work? The 21st? Um, I think that's the Wednesday. 22nd. Oh. Oh, it would help if I was actually looking at... Uh... Okay, yeah, you can do that. There's a rehearsal here. Wedding rehearsal. Oh, there is? Yeah. On the 22nd, yeah. Okay. Five to, five to six is the rehearsal. What about, about Wednesday the twenty first? There's nothing there. Does that work for you? Okay. Wednesday the twenty first then. Um we'll do five thirty. Um it's gonna be a little late because my train comes in that day, but um okay. So we got August twenty first at five thirty. Um any other issues with that? No everybody good? Yeah. Okay. I'll insane a motion to adjourn. So move. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Okay. Fantastic, thank you.